Chapter 11 My Story Ends Two days later, I got out of a coach. I was standing on the road near Thornfield Hall. I ran across the fields. Was Mr. Rochester at Thornfield? Was he ill? And then I saw the house. The house had no roof. Its walls were burnt and black. Nobody was living there. I looked at the burnt black house. I had seen this before. I had seen it in a dream. I was frightened. Where was Edward Rochester? I went to the village of Hay. I asked about Thornfield Hall. I asked about Mr. Rochester. Three months ago, there was a fire at Thornfield Hall, a man told me. The madwoman burnt the house. She was Mr. Rochester's wife. Was Mr. Rochester in the house? I asked. Yes, he was there, the man replied. He tried to save his wife's life. He went into the burning house. But the mad woman jumped from the roof. She died. Was Mr. Rochester hurt? I asked quickly. Yes, he was badly hurt, the man said. He is blind. He can't see. And he has only one hand. Where is he? I asked. Where is he? He is living at Ferndean. It is an old house, about thirty miles away, the man said. Do you have a carriage? I asked. I must go to Ferndean immediately. I got out of the carriage near Ferndean. I walked to the house. I knocked on the door. A servant opened it. I knew her. Oh, Miss Eyre, you have come, she said. Mr. Rochester has been calling your name. A bell rang in another room. That is Mr. Rochester's bell, the woman said. He wants some candles. There were two candles on a table near the door. The woman lit them and she picked them up. Mr. Rochester is blind, but he always burns candles in his room in the evenings, she said. Give the candles to me, I said. I'll take them to him. I opened the door of Mr. Rochester's room. His black and white dog was sitting by the fire. The dog jumped up and ran towards me. Who is there? Mr. Rochester said. Don't you know me, Edward? I asked. Your dog knows me. I put the candles on a table. I held Mr. Rochester's hand. I know that voice. And I know this little hand, Mr. Rochester said. Is that you, Jane? Yes, sir. I have found you at last, I said. I will never leave you again. Then I told Mr. Rochester my...